So if you have watched this channel before, you'll know I'm always banging on about how great Linux is and how I use it all the time as my daily driver and so on and so forth. And that is true. However, like most things, it doesn't work all the time. Let me tell you about a recent experience, and this is recent as in yesterday. So I have been using Pika OS for some time and was really liking it, which is unusual for me because usually I jump around, you know, uh, between distros just to experiment. Anyway, I hadn't used KDE for a while, and I thought, let me try uh, KDE Neon, which is the Ubuntu-based sort of cutting-edge pl uh, KDE Plasma um, distro. So I loaded it up, everything went fine, and I always load these on, on my actual hardware. I don't do them in VMs, I just re reload my laptop. So I went ahead, did that, worked fine for a day, maybe? I was recording something in Audacity, which is my go-to recording program here, and I lost the audio, uh, the, the, audio, the playback audio. So I thought, that's kind of weird. I went, I went to YouTube, checked YouTube. YouTube was working. I was getting audio on YouTube. So I thought, well, it's something with Audacity. I closed the program, reopened, same thing. Went back in, fiddled around with the, uh, the audio settings and the audio setup here. Uh, back to playback device, changed it. I think it was set to as, as, Asla. I changed it to Pulse and it started working. I thought, oh, weird. Maybe a different version of Audacity or something. So didn't think that much of it. Then later that same day, I was using Kden Live, which is my go-to video editor. Same thing. Audio playback just stopped. Weird. Fiddled around. Couldn't get it working. Restarted, you know, restarted the computer, restarted Kden Live. Same thing. Uh, uninstalled. It was installed as a flat pack, I believe, and I reinstalled it from the, the uh, Ubuntu repository. And same thing. I thought, strange. Then... After that, I started getting KIO worker errors on the system. This is about maybe 36 hours into using it. And I was getting quite a bit. Almost, almost every time I opened Dolphin, which is a file explorer, I was getting a KIO worker error. And it seems to be a kind of a KDE Neon thing or at least I'm seeing a lot of people who have KDE you Neon know, was having that error. So you know what I did? I uninstalled it and went back to Pika OS. So this is Pika OS I'm on now. And uh, that was kind of disappointing. I had wanted to try KDE because I hadn't used it for a long time. And then I, after that happened, I thought back and, and remembered, you know, the last time I used KDE, which was on a different laptop, the same, it was also an AMD powered laptop. This is a, a newer one I have now, but the other one I had, I also got weird crashes in KDE. And I don't think I was using KDE Neon. If I remember, and I'm not a hundred percent sure in this, I think it was Fedora, I want to say, with the KDE spin. And I was getting crashes on it. So I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if AMD and KDE don't get along too well, or I've just been really unlucky. But I just wanted to let you guys know, um, yeah, you can have problems, just like in Windows, just like in Mac. Um, and this is the first sort of biggish problem I've had with Linux, actually, for, you know, a while. Um, usually stuff, I hate to use that corny phrase, but it just works. But usually it does. So I'm back on Pika OS, everything's working, and hopefully it'll keep working. Just wanted to be real with you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. So that's another video in the can. If you find this informative or interesting, please consider liking and subscribing down below. And remember, be excellent to each other.